Good morning, Anne. Oh, hey. Guess what time it is? Uh, two in the morning. Drink spare time. Oh, you don't have to throw them at me anymore. I got some copies. Oh, I, I have the fun out of it. You seem a lot more calm than usual. Yeah, the paintings really brought down my stress levels. Can you go make some coffee? Yeah, fine. And now, without further ado, much ado about nothing. Leonardo's house in Messina. Signor Leonardo, Don Pedro and his soldiers are coming tonight. Oh, how lovely. They'll have to come for a visit. I pray you, is Signor Montanto returned from the wars or no? He means Signor Benedict. <laughs> how many times did he accidentally shoot himself in battle? Beatrice, be nice. There is a kind of merry war betwixt Signor Benedict and her. They never beat, but there is a skirmish of wit between them. That translates to you could cut the sexual tension like tea cake. No, it doesn't. All right, maybe a little bit. Alas, he gets nothing by that. In our last battle, four of his five wits went halting off, and now is the whole man governed with one. Th that's great. I, I kind of have a job. So if he have enough wit to keep himself warm, let him bear the difference between himself and his horse. I think there are some kids in Verona that need my help. For it is all the wealth he hath left to be known a reasonable creature. So you don't like him? No, of course not. Who's he hanging with these days? Uh, Claudia. <laughs> Don Pedro, Balthazar. He's the one who has to be in Verona. I have to go. Good morning, Leonardo. Welcome back, Don Pedro. I'm so happy to see you return. When you depart from me, sorrow bides and happiness takes his leave. Hey, that one's on my Shakespeare love quote mug. Oh. What, my dear Lady Disdain? Ah, uh, hello, Benedict. I see you've become the third syllable of your name more than ever. Oh, Beatrice, if only we could power ships with the speed of your tongue, then Hamlet's Dusex Machina would be resolved instantly. But keep your way in God's name, I have done. You always end with a jade's trick. You know you are old. Okay, that one means sexual tension. Speaking of kids, go look up what nothing meant in Elizabethan slang. You're welcome. Wait, but the jade's trick means leaving in the middle of something. So if the implied meaning is... Ah, oh, Benedict. Now, Leonardo, are you sure you're okay with me and my men staying for so long? Especially my potentially evil half-brother, Don John, and his two companions, Boratio and Conrad? Oh, of course, it'll be totally fine. You can even stay in my room. Your hand, Leonardo. We will go together. Hey, hey, Benedict. Oh, yo, my main bro, how's it hanging? You know who's really pretty? Oh, no. Hero. Oh, dude, come on, women are crazy and evil. We have to be bachelors together forever. She's got freckles and shiny hair and her nose crinkles sometimes. What's happening to you? In mine eyes, she's the sweetest lady that ever I looked on. I want to marry her. Ew, girls are gross. I'm never going to get married. What's going on in here? Where have you been? I was discussing battle tactics with Leonardo. We were practicing some freestyle ground technique defense too. That's, that's why I have. What's going on in here? Can you help me woo, hero? Yeah, no problem. Tonight at the ball, I'll put the moves on her, pretending to be you. Because you're such a clumsy dweeb, you probably just drip into the pool. Yay! Mm. Oh, Benedict, you'll be married the second you find the right woman. Hmph! <laughs> Meanwhile, Don John, why are you so sad? I hate Claudio, and my brother's a jerkwad. Well, we did try to overthrow him. Only a little bit? I can't believe he likes Claudio more than me. Hey guys, I have evil news. Lovely, I'm in the mood for plotting. What's the down low, Boratio? Don Pedro's going to woo hero for Claudio at the ball tonight. <laughs> Conrad, bring me my most malicious suit. We're going dancing. Before the party. You know who sucks? Benedict. He sucks so much we should we should carry him by his feet, his head deep in the carpet, and then he could clean it. He could clean the carpet with how much he sucks. That's how much he sucks. Yeah, he'd make a fine vacuum. Oh, Beatrice, I bet you'll find a non-sucky husband someday. No, boys have cooties and I'm smarter than all of them, especially Benedict. Oh, hush, Beatrice, the masked ball is starting. Hey, baby, can I hit you up? <laughs> ah, yes, my brother's wooing hero, and here's Claudio. Time to be the antagonist. Ha! Excuse me, you are Benedict, right? Uh, yeah, totally. Costume party, yay! Can you tell my brother, the esteemed Don Pedro, to stop wooing Hero for himself? She's far below his rank. How do you know he loves her? Oh, I heard him swear it by yonder moon and blessed virgin or something. Oh, finger sandwiches. Doodles. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha, Claudio, you're gonna get married. You're gonna have a stable relationship and achieve romantic fulfillment. Ha <laughs> ha. I hate Hero, I'm leaving. Damn.
hey, what's his deal? Well, using my natural, vast, seemingly endless intellect, I deduce that he thinks that you're banging Hero. What a silly misunderstanding! We'll clear that up immediately and then nothing else bad will happen. Look, here's the future wedding party. Yeah, Beatrice, I have to go organize my sock drawer. Don Pedro, my darling! Friend, uh, how fair is thou? Oh, we have a tiny little situation with me flirting with Hero. There he is! How's my favorite subordinate doing? Girlfriend stealer! What? No! Claudio, I love you! Me? Yes! I want to marry you! G -g Good! Because I want to marry you too! Lady, as you are mine, I am yours. I give myself away for you and dote upon the exchange. Yeah, single life is looking better than ever. It's decided then. The wedding shall be Monday. Ah, this is so fantastic. I'm gonna go contemplate the meaning of human relationships in my room now. That one means she's gonna make microwave brownies and watch anime. Is that what you do? <laughs> Man, waiting a whole week for the wedding is gonna be so boring. Let's play Puppet Master. Well, I don't know if my fiancé would be alright with that. Heck yeah! Who are we messing with? Okay, me, Leonardo, and Claudio are going to talk in a place where Benedict can eavesdrop on us about how much Beatrice likes him. Then, Hero and Ursula, you guys are going to talk in a place where Beatrice can eavesdrop on you about how much Benedict likes her. Then, Benedict and Beatrice will both think that the other likes each other. This is my design. Elsewhere in the mansion. My plot was foiled by telling the truth. Claudio's really going to marry Hero now. Not to worry, Don John. We can cross it. I'm going to seduce Hero's chambermaid, Margaret, and have her looking out of Hero's bedroom window at a sultry hour, wearing Hero's clothing, but only partially. Then all you have to do is get Claudio and Don Pedro there looking too, and it will appear as though Hero has a lover the night before her wedding. This is gonna work out great since we all look so much alike for some reason. Brilliant, Boratio. I shall misuse the prince, vex Claudio, undo Hero, and kill Leonardo. And I get to have sex. The next morning, <sighs> since I don't have any dumb girlfriend to distract me, I can finally focus on my scholarly pursuits. You are my friends. I bet they're gonna talk about how hot I am. I'm gonna eavesdrop. Well, gentlemen, ready to listen to some music? I've got Jesus here, ready to go. I see Benedict hiding, so let's begin. Now, Leonardo, was it you that told me that your niece, Beatrice, was madly in love with Benedict? <gasps> oh, yes, but most wonderful that she should dote on Signor Benedict, who she hath in all outward behaviors ever seemed to abhor. Well, she has been acting rather strange lately. I saw her the other day in the garden. Upon her knees she falls, sobs, weeps, beats her heart, tears her hair, prays, curses, Oh, sweet Benedict! God, give me patience! That's too much. Yeah, she, she loves him a lot. Well, I'm glad we've had this rather loud discussion. Come back, I've got some petite fours in the kitchen. Beatrice loves me? That's... Hey, loser, dinner's ready. Fair Beatrice, I thank you for your pains. If it had been painful, I would not have come. You, uh, you take pleasure then in the message? Whatever, pizza's here, fare you well. I'll make slice of that. <laughs> she totally likes me. After dinner, Ursula, come quick, it's time for phase two of the plan. Beatrice is just around the corner. So, Hero, are you sure that Benedict loves Beatrice so entirely? <coughs> oh yes, that's all the boys will talk about right now. Of course, he's too shy to tell her. <coughs> oh, they make such a cute couple. Witty, attractive, intelligent, interesting. Yup, absolutely perfect. Here, come help me with stuff in the other room. In the guest room. Benny, you look a little... Lovesick. I have a toothache, okay? Is that the only thing aching? Look, he's actually showered. He must be in love. Shut up. I have to go talk to Leonardo about something. Ooh, he's gonna talk about Beatrice. My lord and brother, God save you. Oh, hello, John. If your leisure served, I would speak with you. What's up? Much as it pains me to say this, 
Hero's a slutty mit slut slut. What? She has a lover in her bedchamber every night. Come with me tonight and you'll see. Well, if she is, then tomorrow at church, where I'm supposed to marry her, I will shame her in front of everybody. And as I wooed for thee to obtain her, I will join with thee to disgrace her. Those are some stand-up guys. Oh, Hero. Curse your sudden but inevitable betrayal. Later in the evening. I need the best men available for the evening watch tonight and to guard Hero's wedding tomorrow. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to find some bugs for the museum. Sir, do you think we should start the patrol? They're just, if you were a villager, I'd hit you with a net. Now, go patrol the mansion. That's what I just said. I don't hear marching! Or crickets. The watchmen apprehend Boratio and Conrad, but not before they've ruined Hero's reputation. The next morning, at Hero's room. Uh, oh, Beatrice, did you get drinky last night? Oh, I'm just sick. With love? I'm gonna cough on you if you don't shut up. Ladies, come on. We have to get to church. At church? My lord Leonardo, we have just captured two treasonous traitors. Wait until after the wedding. I'm sure nothing will go wrong that involves them. Claudio, have you come here to marry this lady? No. No, he comes to be married to her. You, Friar, you're the one that has come to marry her. Don't you freaking play me like this, boy. I spent hard ducats on the reception. I can't marry her. She's a trollop. <gasps> <laughs> Would you not swear, all you that see her, that she is a maid by these exterior shows? But she is none. She knows the heat of a luxurious bed. Her blush is guiltiness, not modesty. Claudio, please, you're being ridiculous. Oh, yeah, well, who was she talking to at a window last night, then, hmm? No, it's true. She does have a lover. I saw him, too. I don't know. I was out bowling. It was my bachelorette party. You lied. Yeah, come on guys, let's blow this popsicle stand. Heroes fainted! Death is the fairest cover for her shame that may be wished for! Was it real? Yes, you treacherous harlotin! Let's calm down a little here. My poor sweet cousin, how could they have done this to you? Well, Don John is a revenged-focused slime ball. Why did no one keep him under closer supervision? Poor villain management! Wait, guys, I have an idea! Okay, Hero was left for dead by Don Pedro and Claudio, so we should say that she died of heartbreak when she really just fainted. We fake her death, and then Don Pedro and Claudio will have to repent. Okay, come on, honey, we have to hide you in the basement. Okay, can I have a juice box, too? So, Beatrice, we're alone. Is there anything I can do to comfort you? It is not your place to do it. I do love nothing in the world so much as you. Is not that strange? I love you with so much of my heart that none is left to protest. Come, bid me do anything for thee. Kill Claudio. Isn't that a third date kind of deal? I knew you were a wimp. Terry, good Beatrice, by this hand I love thee. Use it for my love some other way than swearing by it. Well, no. okay, I'm gonna use this hand to open a couple of doors and tell Don Pedro and Claudio that Hero's dead. And then we're gonna make out. Back in Dogberry's quarters. Well, I've paid off my mortgage. It's time to cross-examine the prisoners. Now, do you serve God? I don't want to say too much before my lawyer gets here, but speaking on behalf of Conrad as well as myself, I would say that we hope we serve God. Write down that they hope they serve God. But write God first, for God to defend, but God should go before such villains. Sir, I think these are the ones responsible for the wedding fiasco. Well, get them to Leonardo immediately. Concurrently. Where the frick do you two think you're going? Aw, oh, Leo, don't be like that. Don't you speak to me. My daughter is dead because of your accusation. Hero's dead? I mean, that sucks, but she was charged with nothing but that was true and very full of proof. I haven't seen misdirection like that since I debated a men's rights activist. Here, sir, let me handle them. Ah, Benedict! I'm feeling sad and guilty for some reason. Can you tell me a joke? You among you have killed a sweet and innocent lady. That wasn't a very good joke. Hey, here comes Dogberry and some of my brother's men in chains. What offense have these men done? Mary, sir, they have committed false report. Moreover, they have spoken untruth. Secondarily, they are slanders. Six and lastly, they have belied a lady. Thirdly, they have verified unjust things. And to conclude, they are lying knaves. Okay, so what did they actually do? We tricked you guys into thinking that Hero was disloyal. Don John paid us for it. Whoops. Art thou the slave that with thy breath hast killed my innocent child? Guilty as charged. Oh, no, so she wasn't... And then we- and now she- oh, Egg on my face. What can I do to remedy this? Well, it's not like you can bring my daughter back to life or anything. You have to assure everyone who is at the wedding that she's innocent. Then you have to write a poem and sing it at her graveside. And finally, tomorrow morning, 
You're going to marry my niece. Wait, uh, no, not Beatrice. I have another one who looks just like Hero. Ah, right. Give her the right that you should have given my daughter, and so dies my revenge. Yes, that is a very equivalent exchange. I do embrace your offer. At Hero's tomb. Pardon, goddess of the night, those that slew thy virgin knight, for which the songs of woe round- Okay, that's enough singing. The next day in church. Did I not tell you she was innocent? It's been a long day! Hey, Leonardo, can I um, marry Beatrice? So it's my goats, my good man, but first, Claudio, you must marry your unknown bride. I'll hold my mind were she an Ethiopian. Claudio from Much Ado About Nothing, more like Claudio No from Much Ado About How You Have No Redeeming Qualities. Ta-da! Wow! You look so much like Hero! I don't know. Nothing's certainer. One hero died defiled, but I do live. And surely as I live, I am a maid. Woo! Yeah, virgins! So, uh, Beatrice, do you not love me? Why, no, no more than reason. But they said you did. It's not like I like you or anything. Well, Ursula and Hero said you loved me. You guys are totally sundare. Look at these love poems you wrote each other. A miracle. Our hands against our hearts. Come, I will have thee. But by this light I take thee for pity. I not deny you, but... By this day I yield upon great persuasion, and partly to save your life, for I was told you were in a consumption. Peace, I will stop your mouth. Yay, kissing. I love you. I love you. <sighs> what you thinking about? Oh, nothing. Don John is quickly captured. Claudio and Hero eventually attend marriage counseling, and that's exactly what happened. What'd you put in this coffee? Oh, cinnamon, cream, ambient, vanilla. And that's exactly how Anne finally got a good night's sleep. Oh, she looks so peaceful.